got a question from TikTok by a user called Harvin, and he's a final year A-level student currently working at McDonald's with the aspirations of getting an apprenticeship at JP Morgan in law and finance. He can't change the job right now because of the economic climate and he needs the money because he's saving up for a PC and a car. And he basically responded to my TikTok asking, what do you do so I can tell you how a podcast can help you so Harvin um, firstly thank you for responding and giving me a lot of details uh, about your situation the first thing I would say to you is patience now as boring and as unsexy as that sounds patience is going to be the number one thing without a shadow of a doubt which will determine your success or not and it's something that the majority of us don't have especially your generation and I don't blame your generation because you've grown up with social media and uh, the internet and everything is just instant 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 whether it's crypto whether it's investment whatever it is everything is just instant and there's a real lack of patience um, in that generation but in all generations um, to be honest even even my generation even me myself um, the biggest downfall has been a lack of of patience so the first thing you know you should be happy and you know congrats i want to congratulate you first and foremost because at that age to be thinking about the things that you're thinking about is is great um because not many people are you know they want to chill out and relax and have a good time so the first thing is you know it's it's great that you're thinking about these things and, and, and about your future so think of what I'm about to tell you as a five-year plan a 10-year plan rather than the next few weeks or the next few months or even the next couple of years you are still very very young so take the next 10 years as something which is a learning curve for you the mistake that I made being you know smart at school and college and whatnot was I was more trying to show off that I'm smart and intelligent rather than uh, trying to learn and, and make mistakes and, and, and develop an experiment which is a mistake that a lot of people make now that's not to say take it easy for the next 10 years it's to take the pressure off your mind that you need to be successful that you need to make it that you need to have it all figured out you simply don't from now up until the age of 30 I would say which is the advice I give to most people this is your period to work hard to try things to experiment but most of all don't be afraid to fail and the biggest thing of all is take the pressure off yourself that you need to have it all figured out and you need to be successful and all of that you don't you just need to work hard work to a plan and spend the next decade experimenting with things until you find you know the thing that you're really passionate about and and, and, and that you're really good at uh, and, and you can go from there um, so to your specific circumstances I know you you're working at McDonald's um, you don't particularly like it but you know you don't want to change the job because of a recession and you need the money um, and some of the issues that you're having is you're spending the money that you do make on um, eating at McDonald's uh, and then going out with your girlfriend um and, and, and just having a you know good time or whatever you do uh so the first thing there is you need to basically have better management um it's hard to change a job in this climate i get it like i i remember my first job around about that time was sports soccer and it was only like three pound or four pound an hour the wage and I was only working about eight hours or whatever it was uh, and what I was finding every time I went for lunch break if I had a lunch break sometimes I didn't even have a lunch break because the shifts were so short I'd go to Boots to get some quick snacks and then I'd go to HMV and buy like DVDs so I wasn't really saving anything whatever I was making I was spending it straight away um, so you need an element of control if you can cut down on on the eating do it explain to your girlfriend that you've got this plan um which i'll come back to later on in this video uh, and try and cut down the expenses because uh, you really need to save that money for those purchases that you need to make which is the pc and the car i would recommend putting off the car do you really need the car at this stage like i know when i was 17 i passed my driving test i wanted a car and truth be told i really didn't need it i wanted it but i didn't really need it in college it was fine to take the bus and then after that it was fine taking the bus and the train to university the real 
time that I really needed a car was about four or five years later when I started my first job, which was in a different city. And even then, um, you know, there's, there's work around. So do you really need the car? Because if you don't need it, spend that time focusing on getting that PC because the computer is going to be way more of an investment, which is going to pay you back uh, rather than, you know, what, whatever the car is going to do for you. Um, but yeah, get the PC. That is the most important instrument that you need, especially for starting a podcast, um, which brings me to the important point of this conversation. So how can a podcast help you? Very, very simple, very, very easy. Um, you want to get into JP Morgan in finance or law, a podcast is basically going to get you access to people you necessarily wouldn't get access to. So um, if I was at your age, what I would do in starting that podcast would be um, I'm a student, I'm interested in finance and law, um, and I'm just looking to learn. And then I would approach people, whether it's on LinkedIn or whoever on the internet, approach lawyers, accountants, financiers, people working in JP Morgan, people working in um, other competitor kind of companies um, and just say to them, look, I'm a student. I'm looking to learn more about this industry. Are you willing to come on and have a 15, 30, 45 minute chat with me about this? Uh, and most people will say yes to that. However, if you go to them, say, I'm looking for a job or I'm looking for this, or I'm looking for that. Everybody's doing that. So they're going to ignore it. Whereas if you say, you know, I, I, I like your story. I like, you know, your career. I like what you're doing. I'd like to learn more about your life, what you went through, what advice you have for students. Would you be willing to come on a podcast and share your story? You are more likely to get a yes from that. And what you're doing yourself is you're building your own self-esteem, your confidence and your communication skills. But you're already building relationships with people that will put in a good word for you or even hire you if you target the right people to interview. So the main thing, though, is have is to have this mindset where you're not looking for something from these people. You're not looking for a job. You're not looking to get something from them. All you're looking for is to have a conversation with them and speak to them on, on, on your podcast. But just by doing that, you're building relationship with business owners, with professionals, with people working in the companies that you do want to work for. So when the time comes for that apprenticeship, you know, whether it's two years down the line, three years down the line, even five years down the line, you're already ahead of everybody else because you've already built these relationships. You already have, you know, knowledge and experience based upon all the things that you learn from the conversations that you have. And you'll also have this online platform where other people are learning from. So, you know, there's just so much there for you that will put you ahead of the pack. Um, and specifically your situation right now, um, before obviously you don't have a PC yet and you don't have the equipment for a podcast although you can use your phone um, you still do have a tiktok channel now i had a look at it there's um, you know you've got nearly a thousand followers um, which you know it's, it's a good thing that's a good thing a lot of people don't get to that stage um, and i think one of your videos has hit half a million views which is fantastic so there is your you know validation and proof that you need to be putting out more content on tiktok because uh, that's going to build your social media following and profile and the bigger that is the more easy it's going to be for you to get guests onto your podcast because people that are willing to come on podcasts obviously want to know whether you, not everybody but there's quite a few people that want to know if you've got an audience uh, and, and, and whether there's going to be people listening to the conversation that you're having if you can say well I've got this audience of a thousand people or two thousand people or five thousand people um, that's going to increase your chances of getting um, other guests and also it's going to give you more social proof and opportunities to do other things so the reason I asked you what your hobbies and interests were in this instance your hobbies and interests were a piano and a guitar um, that is the content that you can put out for example so um, you know your TikTok channel can be about student life it could be about couple goals like you know what you're currently doing at the moment or it could be you just playing the guitar or the piano and just building a following based upon what you're doing in life. So the key difference here is don't be putting out content, trying to make out I'm smart, I'm great, and I've got everything figured out. Nobody's interested in that shit. But if you're just being yourself, I'm doing this, I like playing the guitar, 
check it out this is what i can do i'm learning this i'm learning that you're going to build a following because what you're essentially doing is documenting the process which is a process that other people are going through themselves and therefore they'll be interested in seeing your process as well uh, and yeah by doing that by building the following you will open up opportunities not just in finance and law and, and JP Morgan that you want to do but in other unexpected areas as well for example this is just an example if you were just to put out content about you playing the guitar you know I promise you you will have people coming up to you and saying I want to learn what steps do you have and then just answer those questions kind of like what I'm doing now answering questions uh, and once you've built up a following you can then create a, a digital product which might be how to learn the guitar now that might be an ebook it might just be a course that you can quickly wrap up and create once and then you can start selling that for whatever it is ten dollars twenty dollars fifty dollars hundred dollars whatever it is um but once you've got a following once they know like and trust you once they've seen that you know how to play the guitar once you've built a little you know loyal following people will buy that off of you uh, and that's just an extra income for you which you know obviously helps with um, getting out of the current job you're in and, and it will help you through the university years as well um, because there'll be more expenses point being is you know which I keep saying to everybody your ticket out of the crappy job and, and, and crappy jobs in the future is posting content on social media and you post content about things you're interested in about the life you're living um, because that's you know what other people are interested in as well so it's not content on stuff you don't like stuff you don't you know stuff you find boring because that can fast become a grind as long as you are creating content on things you are genuinely passionate about interested in you will slowly build a following and this comes back to what I was saying earlier when you speak to your girlfriend tell her your long-term plan involve her in the long-term plan create that couple's tiktok if that's what it is whatever it is um and build that following because it's going to pay dividends maybe not in six months maybe not in 12 months but in two years down the line it will pay massive dividends as long as you remain consistent which is why i'm saying be patient and play the long game don't think of this as a three month six month or even 12 month process think of this at minimum as a two-year process and stretch it out to five years because if you stay on this path for the next five years i guarantee you you will be ahead of 99.999 percent of your peers and the opportunities for you will be massive in comparison so i hope that helped if it did let me know if there's any further clarifications that you need let me know as for the viewers and the rest of you, if there's any other questions that you have, if you want me to talk about your specific situation, let me know and I will see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye bye.